guys, welcome to week two of our puzzle theme, Believe There's a Bigger Picture, where all month long we're talking about the idea of hope mm -hmm. and understanding that all of the stories and all of the lessons we're learning are small parts of a big picture. Yes. Uh, as always, I'm Mr. Rocco. I'm Christy. And we are very excited that you guys are with us. We're so uh, grateful that this month we're get to celebrate Easter. Today is Palm Sunday, which is yeah. a really, really special day. And we're going to learn all about Palm Sunday today in our lesson. But before we get there, we're going to start the way we always do. We're going to pray. We're going to worship together. And then we can get into our lesson. Miss Christy, why don't you pray and open us up today? You got it. Everybody bow your heads, close your eyes. Lord, thank you so much for this month. And thank you for all the wonderful stories that we get to learn. And I am so grateful that we are pieces to your big story. And I pray that you would help us to remember that each and every day and that we can strive to be more and more like you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, let's worship together. Remember, we're singing a brand new worship song this month, and it's all about hope. Yeah. So let me hear you guys singing it loud, praising God together, uh, learning our dance moves, learning the words, and just and really diving into worship this morning. All right, here we go. When I is darkest and I feel weary, I'm not alone.
Great job, Wordstreaming guys. Once again, we're really excited to get into our theme this month, Puzzled. Believing there's a bigger picture. And all month long, we're learning about our really important word, which is hope. Hope. Believing that something good can come out of something bad. Yeah. Last week, we learned about the death of Lazarus and how Jesus rose him from the dead. And, and we can see that even though the bad thing happened, he died, the good thing is, is that Jesus rose him from the dead. And, and that was a great ending to that story. So we see that idea of hope, believing that something good can come from something bad. And, and I said last week, but the Bible is all about hope. If we could pick one word that talks about what the Bible is about, that word would be hope. Right. All right, so I'm really excited to be able to dive into this idea of hope all month long. Mm -hmm. And speaking of diving into the idea of hope, why don't we dive into our memory verse for the day? Let's do it. I hope you guys got some time to practice. Mm, I know I practiced this week. week. All right, so I'll read it, then we'll do a read and repeat, so this way we get a little extra practice. Sounds right great. In this world, you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. And I, I just, I think this is a really great memory verse, yeah. huh? but really important point to remember that no matter what we're going through, God went before us. Yep. He already fought the fight and he won the battle for each and every one of us. And that's what we're going to be talking about coming up soon, but shh, I won't spoil it. We're, we're, we're a week ahead on that one. But. We, I won't spoil it. But we see the idea of hope all throughout our memory yes. verse. That that even though troubles may come, that's the bad. That God has already won the battle, and that's the good. Yeah. All right. Let's read. Let's and repeat, read and repeat it. it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm ready. In this world, you will have trouble. In this world, you will have trouble. But be encouraged. But be encouraged. I have won the battle. I have won the battle over the world. Over the world. And that's John sixteen thirty three. John sixteen thirty. Three. Man. So we talked about Lazarus last week, right? And how Jesus rose him from the dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I mean, that was a great story. Uh, I, I mean, like I said last week, it's one of my and, favorites. And after that happened, I think more and more people started to believe in Jesus, right? I feel like the more and more people, to yeah, the words, the word was spreading, and more and more people were believing that Jesus was, in fact, the Messiah, that he was the Son of God. But there's a group of people that were not having that at all. And that was the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. And the Pharisees were doing everything they could to try and stop Jesus. Right. Okay. So Jesus and the disciples, after healing Lazarus and rising him from the dead, are now coming to the town of Jerusalem. And that's where we're going to pick up our story today. All right. Because, again, it's Palm Sunday. So we're going to learn the story of Jesus coming to Jerusalem. So get ready for this week's lesson. Pay attention to the screens. We're on. What's up, everyone? I'm Jacob. Have you ever been stuck inside your home? Maybe because of bad weather or because of a lockdown? Or how about this? Have you ever been stuck inside your home and then the power goes out? No TV, no internet. It's a nightmare. But it doesn't have to be all that bad. You can figure out something to do like a jigsaw puzzle. You see, puzzles can help us understand hope. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. Now, usually a jigsaw puzzle comes in a box with a picture of the finished puzzle. This one, however, came in a bag. Guess I'll have to wait until I'm done to see what I'm working on. Let's see. It looks like an eye. So the final picture will have a creature of some kind. Maybe a bunny rabbit. Boing. Boing. Or a squirrel. I'm a squirrel. Or maybe it's not any kind of animal I'm, I've ever seen before, like a hairy monster that has like eight legs and six eyes and is super furry. You know, it's hard to tell what the full picture will be when I'm only looking at one piece. Now the one piece looks like it's looking at me. Stop looking at me. In today's story, we'll hear about a group of people who expected something to happen, 
but they only saw one piece of the puzzle. I see you. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of John, chapter 12, verses 9 through 16. When Jesus raised his friend Lazarus from the dead, news spread quickly. Many people believed in Jesus, and the religious leaders flew into a rage. If we let Jesus keep doing this, everyone will believe in him. He'll cause so much trouble, the Romans will come in and take over. Mm. So, it's decided. We will remove him. <laughs> uh, please note the air quotes. For a time, Jesus went away to the village of Ephraim. As the Passover feast neared, the people of Jerusalem began to look for him. Isn't he coming to the feast? He'd be a fool. The Pharisees have given orders to arrest him. Jesus wasn't threatened by the religious leaders. He was following the plan that God had set in motion long before. But with his disciples, Jesus returned to the town of Bethany. From there, he made plans to enter Jerusalem. He told two of his friends. Go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. Her colt will be with her. Village, check. Donkey, check. Colt, check. Untie them and bring them to me. Untie... Wait, what? We can't just go taking someone's donkeys. Anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. The Lord needs them. Check. And the owner will send the donkeys right away. We're on it. The disciples had entered the town, just as Jesus had instructed them. Well, there they are. And now we will just calmly untie them like we walk off every day with donkeys that don't belong to us. <laughs> no biggie. Hey! Those are my donkeys. Uh, um, I, the Lord needs them. Oh. oh. Well, in that case, just remember the big one kicks real bad. And she likes figs. Jesus' friends brought the donkey to him and laid their coats across the coat's back. Jesus to sit on. He's walked a gazillion miles. Why does he want to ride a donkey now? Jesus wasn't too tired to walk. He was carrying out the plan that God had set in motion long before. Hundreds of years earlier, the prophet Zechariah had written, Say to the city of Zion, See, your king comes to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. Now Jesus was showing everyone that he was the king that God had promised. As he rode towards Jerusalem, excitement rippled through the crowds of travelers. They threw their coats down on the ground, making a path for him. Others broke large branches off of nearby palm trees, laying them across the road or waving them high. Hosanna! Oh, bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Some people ran ahead of Jesus as others streamed behind in a joyful, glorious parade. Hosanna! As the procession neared the city, people ran out to see what was happening. Who is this? This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. Yeah, he brought Lazarus back from the dead. In all the excitement, though, one group of people was not pleased, the religious leaders. This isn't getting us anywhere. Look how the whole world is following him. Don't worry, I've got a plan. A plan? To remove Jesus. Oh, right. The air quote. <laughs> he won't last the week. But God was still at work, and nothing that anyone could do would stop God's plan to save the world. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So anyway, many people believed Jesus was the Messiah, the Savior who came to rescue them. And they were right, but they thought that meant that Jesus was going to take over right then and take over as their king. And they were about to be very disappointed. 
But here's the thing about disappointment. We're disappointed when things don't go how we want or expect. We're disappointed when we don't get our way. <laughs> but you've got to remember, when it comes to life, we can only see one piece of the puzzle. We only see that we didn't get invited to someone's birthday party. We see that mom or dad lost their job. We see that you or someone you know is hurt. We see the bad things happening right now. What we don't see, God is working out a plan for our future. God sees everything. God knows everything. And when you're disappointed with the way things are going, it's important to remind yourself that God isn't finished yet. God is putting your puzzle together. God is still working. That's the one thing to remember today. Whatever happens, remember, God is still working. Jesus didn't turn out to be the king the people were expecting, but God was working on a much bigger plan, not just to rescue those people, but to rescue all people for all time. When we only see one piece of the puzzle, God can see the whole picture. Wow, and what a picture it is. I'll see you next time. So Jesus knew that once he was going to come to the city, that things were not going to go well. He knew that the Pharisees were going to try and stop him. He knew that they were going to try and arrest him. Mm -hmm. But even in that moment, even in like the, the, the time where the Pharisees are trying to arrest Jesus, God still has a plan that's bigger than we can see at this point. The picture is bigger than what we get from this little piece of, of the puzzle, right? It's starting so to come together. It's starting to come together. We're starting to see it. But, but Jesus knew that God's plan was bigger than just him coming to town and, and, and coming in on a donkey. Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus knew that even though the Pharisees were trying to arrest him, that, that God's plan was bigger than all of this, right? And that we can trust that God is always planning out and God always has a bigger picture for us. So our bottom line for this week is whatever happens, remember that God is still working. Mm -hmm. No matter what, remember that God is still pulling his plan together. Whatever happens, remember that God is still working. Guys, this is a really important message because sometimes when we are going through those troubles that our memory verse is talking about, or when we're going through bad times, it's really easy to get lost in, in the difficultness of all of that. It's really, it's really easy to get lost in the trouble. But we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. And we have to remember that God's still working. And we have to remember what we learned from last week, that God is so powerful and that he has a plan and a bigger picture for us to be a part of. Let's pray. God, I'm so thankful for your big picture. I'm so thankful for the lessons that you teach us and the lessons that you give to us. And God, I pray on this Palm Sunday that you would help us to remember the hope that we have in you. And God, I just pray that you would remind each and every one of us every day about the hope that we have in you. God, bring us back safely next week where we can learn more about your word and more about your story of hope and the big picture that we see during this Easter season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, Miss Christy, hit us up with that verse one more time. Let's do it. Let's go right into a read and repeat. I'm, I'm ready. ready They're ready at home. If you're ready, we're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. In this world, you will have trouble. In this world, you will have trouble. But be encouraged. But be encouraged. I have won the battle. I have won the battle. Over the world. Over the world. John 16, 33. John 16, 33. Whew. Great job at home, guys. Great job, Miss Christie. <laughs> Great you. job, Mr. Rocco. We are getting this memory verse. We are getting these lessons down. And, and God is going to do amazing things when we learn more and more and more about the hope that we find in him. Guys, let's worship together one more time before we get out of here today. Uh, again, I love this worship song. Miss Christy loves this worship mm -hmm. song. We're excited. Uh, we want to hear you singing. We want to hear you praising God together. Let's see those dance moves. All of this and all of this and all of Whoa. this. Whoa.
All of it. I want to see it all. Are you guys ready to worship together? I can't hear you. Are you ready to worship together? All right, let's go. When the night is darkest and I feel weary, I'm not alone because you are All right, guys, that's week two of our puzzle theme, Believing There's a Bigger Picture. Yeah. Guys, we're really excited about this theme and this month. We love the Easter season. We're so glad that you're joining us each week uh, where we can learn more and more about the hope that we have in Jesus. Guys, next week is Easter, so if we don't see you, we want to wish you a happy Easter now. But we hope to see you next week where we can learn more about God's Word and more about the lessons that he has for us. As always, we love you. More importantly, God loves you, and we hope you have a great week. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.